Hi there, welcome to Seasons Change. I'm Luann, and in today's video, I'm finishing up a little decluttering and organizing project. I cleaned out my cabinet in the dining room, and these are some leftover platters and dessert bowls that I have left over. These are the ones that are for Christmas specifically, and I was able to actually fit the rest of my platters and dishes and trays in the bottom of this hutch. And it's working out great. Let me show you what I put in the drawers. This first drawer is just some tablecloths. The second drawer I have my cloth napkins and some different types of napkin rings and then this last drawer I'm going to be emptying this out later these are just a few items that I need to work into my kitchen today I'm going to be working in this cabinet which is an absolute mess as you can see so I need to go through all of this clutter find new homes for it and this can become the new home for all of those holiday dishes Okay, so I'm going to start out by going through this top drawer and I'm going to tell you right now, nothing in here makes any sense at all. We have oven mitts, pot holders, here's some tent stakes, just a random array of everything you can think of. So needless to say, what I'm going to do is just go through each one of these items and finally decide what I really need to keep, what I can donate, and what I can just throw away. your first time visiting my channel I just want to take a minute to say hello and welcome you if you like homemaking channels that include cleaning decorating cooking day in the lives and just all things to do with the home then I also want to invite you to go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos Okay, now that I have that cleaned out, I think the plan for now is to store my placemats in here. I have a whole bunch of them, and these wood ones are my favorite because they're good for year-round, and they're very versatile. They don't take up a lot of space, and I use them all around the house. As you can see, I even have one right there on the top. I do have some gold flatware and serving utensils that I'm storing in my entryway closet and my end goal would be to get those in this drawer. Okay, now moving on to the bottom half. This is filled with a lot of sentimental items and some overflow of decorations and Actually, I don't have as much as what I used to. I would have never been able to fit all of my overflow decorations in one spot like this. But, like I said, I've narrowed it down to just some sentimental items. And uh, here's an example of one thing. This is a very old metal hair dryer. I don't know what in the world I could ever do with this. I kind of thought about maybe hanging it on the wall in the bathroom. I have no idea but I really need to make a hard decision on that one. And uh, also, let's see, that's just an old candle. I have this little pitcher, and this I believe was my grandmother's. And there's just something about it. I always thought it was the cutest and most beautiful thing in the world. So I'm holding on to that. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. But that's basically what this cabinet is full of. Uh, I have some dishes that belong to my mom. That right there that I just set on top of that hourglass 
is actually a crystal candlestick that got broke. And that's what happens when there are, there is no organization and not a home for these things. So maybe I can fix that with my E6000. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Some of this stuff I really don't need. This is a little family tree that I got at Things Remembered. I thought was cute, but I've actually had that thing for about 15 years and I haven't done anything with it yet. And then in this, that box was a chess set that my cousin handmade and gifted to my brother. And my brother has passed away, so that is a very special chess set to me. But again, it's been in that box for about 15 years, and I'm hoping one day I'll have a place to display it. Now that I have everything out of there, I'm just sorting it into different piles of, again, what needs to go to my decoration closet that I now have, or what I can donate, what needs to go in the trash, and make a few tough decisions that need to be made. Since I started using my base layer method, and if you're not familiar with that, you can go back and watch one of my decorating videos. But basically, instead of changing out my decor every time I want to change or when the seasons change, I have put some thought into some base layers that I can just redecorate. Like flower arrangements, candle holders, changing out ribbon, just changing out pillow covers, keeping it very simple. And that is how I have narrowed all of my overflow decoration down to this one little spot. And actually most of this isn't even decorations. So it's really helped if you're looking for a new way to stay organized. I also wanted to point out if you're wondering why my table is pulled apart, I'm in the middle of a paint project there. This table has always been two-toned, but it was more of like a gold color on the bottom half, and I wanted to brighten things up by painting it white, and I haven't quite finished that yet. Here are my platters for Christmas, and I don't know about you, but I have a bad habit of keeping everything in its original boxes. So what you're seeing here is one of those tough decisions of me deciding to take everything out of the box and just stack them on the shelf the way they are. And um, that's a new one for me, but I did it whenever I moved all of my other serving platters and dishes into the bottom of the hutch. And it's just amazing how much space those boxes take up. And I don't even know why I feel the need to hold on to them. As you can see here, I didn't get rid of all of the boxes. These holiday items that I'm only going to use once a year, I feel like they're best kept in the boxes. Except for that couple of platters. Okay, y'all. Well, I managed to ramble on through this entire video, but this is the end result here. <clears throat> I just have my holiday dishes, the platters, a couple candlesticks. Now I have a place to keep my placemats until I decide what I'm going to do with that gold flatware. And that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed spending time with me today. And if you did, please let me know by hitting that big thumbs up down below. Remember to find ways to stay motivated, cherish your family, and love your home the best that you can. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!